So now that we have a moving platform, we need to make sure that the player doesn't pop on top of it when he's standing down here and the platform goes on top of him, as you can see here. So this is one thing we'll have to fix. To fix this, we will need to change something on the platform effector, because as you can see here, the platform effector has a collider mask and this collider mask says everything, which means that it collides with everything at all times. So to fix this, we can actually change the player's layer and change the uh, change what the collider mask actually uh, collides with, so that when the player is standing on the ground under the under the platform here, he will not be able to collide with it. So if you can see here, there are lots of different layers. Let's just play pick nothing for now. Um, and when you have picked nothing, remember to stop the game when you do it then try to go to layers in the top here and click add layer and write new layer called platform so this is the layer that the platform can collide with for now at least so click on the player and his layer is default as you can see here so if we click on the moving platform again and click on the small platform you'll see that the collider mask, mask now has the option called platform so click on platform, play the game again. Now you'll see that the player falls through the platform there. And if I stand here, he doesn't pop on top anymore because the player is another layer and the platform is not um, meant to collide with him. But now I can't land on top of it. So we'll need to do something so that the player can actually jump and land on top of the platform here. So we will have to add another layer as well. So click on layers again, click add layer and add a new layer called falling. And then we simply click on the small platform and go to the collider mask and then select falling as well. So the player will be able to collide with the platform when he's falling. So as you can see, if we would go to the player here, change it to falling and just just changing children click here and go out here and land then you're able to land on the platform but now we're back at exactly the same problem right that he pops on top when he's, he's standing down there so his layer should not be falling it should just be default the standard and then we need to write some code that makes sure that he goes into the falling layer whenever um, whenever he hits hit the platform here so to make sure that we know if he's falling and we would be able to change the layer uh, to some falling layer when he's falling, we will need to open up our script here. And inside the script, we will need to make sure that we know if he's falling. And as you can see, we have one if statement here that actually checks if his Y velocity is less than zero. And this is the player script, of course. And in here, in this if statement, he's actually falling but we also need to check it somewhere else um, so in general we can just make a, um, a property that replaces this if statement here so that we can reuse it other places so basically we need to go to the top of the script and we need to go under is that and make public um, bool is falling and no parentheses after sorry and then make get and in here we need to check if our velocity is larger or equal to zero and we already had the code down here so just copy this and paste it in here and say return return this statement here so this will return true or false based on if the velocity y velocity is less than zero if it's less than zero well then it returns true because then we're falling if it's not less than zero then it returns false because we're not falling and then we can go down here again and just write if falling is falling there we go so now that we have this pool here we can actually use it to fix a little bug because if we go in the game and play it 
And if I if I stand here and I jump and I jump again in the air, if I can do it, there we go. If I just spam space, now he's just jumping. I'm not touching the keyboard right now, but he keeps jumping in the spot. So we need to fix fix this so that he <clears throat> sorry so that he doesn't jump in the air. And the reason that it happens is because if we select the player, go to parameters, play the game, and I'm in the air, and I press jump in the air, then it actually triggers jump again. And if I do this right away when I get to the ground, then he will keep jumping sometimes. As you can see here, now I get hit, so now it stops sometimes. But So that bug we will need to fix. And it's simple. We just need to go to the handle input function. Uh, was that it? There we go. And here we also need to add and is falling. And remember to put the exclamation mark in front of is falling. So now we are not able to jump unless we're standing on the ground. If we are falling, then we're in the air and then we shouldn't be able to jump anymore. So if you save and go back to Unity and you spam space, then nothing happens anymore. So now he doesn't jump again by himself unless you just press the button right away when you hit the ground as you can see. Yeah. But the bug doesn't happen where he keeps jumping. So that was one thing we needed to fix. So now let's look at the layers. So we actually need to say change the layer to um, to the falling layer when we are falling. So we need to say game object dot layer. So when you say game object dot layer, you actually access the player's game object, and you access the layer up here, and then we need to select the falling layer to figure out what the falling layer is, we can click on add layers. Then you'll see on my uh, screen here, user layer is actually for 11 for falling. So we need to use 11 to access the falling layer. If we need the platform layer, well, then we need um, access layer 10. So to access layer 11, we can say game layer equals 11. So now we switch his layer to 11 when he's falling. If you save and go back to Unity, try to click on your player, you'll see his layer is falling from default because he's just started falling. You see, it's default here. And then he starts falling in the beginning and then it's changed to falling because he doesn't spawn on the ground though. So now our falling code works. So the next thing that this means though, that the player will be able to fall onto the top of the platform. But we still have this problem here where he's standing and he pops on top of it because his layer is still falling now. So we need to add some functionality so that his layer changes from falling to something else. Back to default, for example. To do so, we need to go to our layers in the animator, click on the ground layer, click on ground layer up here. So we are out. So we have action states and idle states here. Click on idle states and click add behavior and new script and call this, what should we call it? Layer behavior. When you have added it, you can double click on it to open it. And then we'll have to make sure that he changes back to a normal default state when he is out of uh, the platform. So let's try to uncomment this on state update here because we need to check if we need to switch the layer. So we need to make an if statement. If our animator, the animator we have right here, if the get, let's see if it works here, animator.get layer wait, my intelligence doesn't work right now. One. So we need to get the layer weight of layer one, which is this one air layer. So we need to check if the air layer is active or not. So if it's equal to zero, then the air layer is not active. So we also need to check if the player's climb layer is active. So let, let's just check that for once. Animator dot get layer weight and two 
and we also need to check if that one is equal to zero as well. So now we checked if the climb layer is not active. So if the, um, what is it called, the air layer is, is zero, it's not active, and the climb layer is not that active, well, then our base idle layer will be active, right? So now we can assume that our standard layer is active. Um, then we also need to check if we are not um, standing on the platform, basically. Um, because if we're standing on the platform, then we don't need to switch our layer to default because then we're going to fall through it. So we need to figure out what layer the platform had. So that's 10. So we need to check if the player's layer is not 10 before we do this. So go back to the script and say and the animator game object that layer isn't equal to 10. So down here we'll have to say animator dot game object dot layer equals zero. So if we are in our standard state we are, and we're not standing on the platform, our layer is not a platform, then we go back to our default layer. So let's try to save this. And play. And then the layer will be default now, as you can see here. Even though we set it to falling, when we're falling, we can try to take the player here, go up here. If I take him and put him up here and let him fall, then he's falling. And then when he hits the ground, he's on the default layer. So that's one thing. But we also need to make sure that he can land on the platform. And right now, he's not able to land on the platform for a long time. Let's see here. Because it's... Let's see here. If we go on top, he might fall through it sometimes because of bug. But yeah, now it's falling default. As you can see here, it switches between them all the time. And that's not our point. So we need to make sure that he switches to another layer when he lands on the platform. So to do this, we will have to add something to our platform script. So we need to change this layer into the, f uh, the platform layer, I mean. So go to the scripts and find your moving platform or platform movement script. And in here, we need to make some Collision. So make a public, a private void called on collision. Uh, enter 2D and collision 2D uh, other. So if other dot game object attack equals player. So if it's the player that's colliding with the platform, and remember that this script is sitting on the movement platform. Well, if that's the case, then we say other dot game object dot layer equals um, was it ten or eleven? I can't remember now. Sorry. Let's see a player layers. We need to put it into platform. That's ten here. Okay. So we need to change it to ten equals ten. So now his layer should be changing uh, to ten when he lands on the platform here. So it should be platform. Let's let's give it a try. And I'm sure that this will not work because there we need to do one more thing. But let's see default. And if I go to here and the fall and I missed it, yay. Let's try one more time. There we go. And it's default falling, default falling. So it doesn't work right now. So why doesn't it work? Well, basically the platform um, what's it called? The platform movement script is up here on the parent and the collider is sitting on child object. So we need to do something so the movement platform can actually trigger whatever happens to the collider on the tri um, child object. So to do this, we just need to add a rigid body to the moving platform. So add a rigid body, rigid body 2D and just remove the gravity scale and yeah, that's basically, we can also so say that it's kinematic. So make sure that the um, rigid body is kinematic so you can't 
move it around brute force. So let's see what happens. It might, it will still go to the falling state all the time, but it should land on the box state here. Falling platform. So now it's platform state, as you can see here. When I jump and land on it, it goes to the platform for a while before it starts falling again. So now we're switching the state correctly. But we still have this little problem where when we're standing on top of the this one, he keeps um, falling when the platform moves downwards. So to fix this, we simply have to make sure that um, our player is actually a child object of the platform when it's moving or when it's standing on top of it. So basically, we need to make sure here that our other transform that set parent is equal to child transform. So this will make the player a, ch a child object of the platform when he jumps on it. But we also need to make sure he's not a child object anymore when he um, exits the collider. On collision exit 2D. Collision 2D. Other. So here we have to say other dot transform dot set parent null. There we go. So now we set the parent back to null. So the player should become a child object when he lands on the platform. See how he falls? Boom. He's a child object of the small platform now, as you can see here. And he ju doesn't uh, jump up and down anymore when it's going here. And then we can see that the player keeps st stays on platform. And then we can go off. And the layer is default now, and the player is not a child object anymore. And let's see if he stands here. Well, he doesn't pop up on top of this one when he's standing in front of it anymore because he has the wrong layer. And we jump, and we can land on top of the platform. So there you have it. Here are some like platforms that you can actually jump on top of. So if there are like any bugs or something with this, then please report them and we'll make a video that uh, fixes those small bugs. I haven't had time to test this like a lot. So just let me know if you find any bugs in it. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope that you'll see, I'll see you in the next video for this platform. Just keep on coming with suggestions. Uh, this floating platform thing was also a suggestion from uh, some of your viewers. So thanks for watching and remember that InScope Studios is a community founded page. So if you want to support me, it would be very, very awesome. You can support me in different ways. You can click the bottom link on the screen to go to the page where you can buy all my scripts as a standard, uh, as a solo thing. And you can also click the top of the screen where you can go to the Patreon page where you'll get all my projects if you support me there. Uh, or you will also be able to get some private tutoring and help for your programming. So thanks for watching.